Today, we are looking at a simple tool on the roulette-professional.com website that can help you to convert or count data in a number of ways. You enter data in the top field, then select how the data you have entered is separated. In this case, our data is separated by commas. This format is often referred to as comma separated values or CSV for short. Once you have your data present, you have a number of output options. If you choose reverse list and press run, then as you might expect, your list will be reversed for you. You can copy the data as it is, or move the data up and work with it again in its new order. You might want to change the separator to something else. If you select the rebuild list with a new separator option and press run, you will be asked to enter a separator or character that you wish to use. We are just going to use a hyphen, and there you can see it rebuilds the list with hyphens. If we move the data up again, we will need to change the separator to a hyphen before we can work with the new data. Let's clear the form and look at a more practical example. In the Why Clockwork Roulette Systems Fail video, you might have seen us use the loss sequence from a previously played session to get the geometric loss level count. To do this, we use the Count Items option. You can see it counts each unique value and displays the items in ascending order. The system can count any kind of separated data. For example, let's take a list from Excel and paste it in. This list is separated by the invisible new line character, so we choose new line from the input separator list and use count items again, revealing the results below. OK, let's move up a gear. If we wanted to analyse some spin data to see how far a progression might need to run for, then we can use this system to run some quick tests. Let's get some suitable test spin data from random.org. We click numbers, then integers. We will ask for 500 results, with values ranging from 0 to 36, and organise the results into 10 columns. Let's copy the data and paste it into our string analyzer. This data has the invisible tab character separating columns and the invisible new line character separating the rows. Ideally, we need the data in a comma separated format, and that's easy enough to do. First, we split on the tab character and rebuild the list with a comma. You can see all the tabs have been replaced by commas, but we still have the new line character separating the rows. We move the data up, then we split again, this time selecting the new line option, then we rebuild the list again using another comma. Now we can see our data is in the more useful CSV format. We'll move the data up again. Now let's split on the comma and choose count items so we can see how many times each pocket won. OK, that's useful. Now let's see what the count groups and sets option does. So, this view shows us the number of spins processed at the top, then the number of wins each set received. The percentage of wins a set achieved within its peer group and the highest loss level the set reached. You can of course paste in spin data you may have previously collected, or you could use this as a very basic counter while playing a live game by typing in the results and clicking run after entering a new result. We hope you find this tool useful.